Hi and welcome back to my channel, long time no see. It's been so long since I've like filmed, uploaded a video. It's been like maybe five, six weeks now. I'm gonna be f doing a full video, explaining all of this, what's been happening. Um, I've, I've honestly, I've, I've, I've missed this so much. This is gonna be my new background now, by the way, just to let you know. This is my new setup because I have like redecorated my bedroom, changed everything round. And I've just not really filmed, I think I filmed one video when I did the Bronley one where I was sat on my bed but I haven't filmed one with like this new background and nice new setup kind of thing. I'm going to be getting a new chair as well so it's not like a black in the background as well. So everything's going to be getting better. I've also bought a new camera, a new microphone but I will be going into all of that in my um, haul. So I've got loads of hauls coming up and what I got for Christmas, what I got for my birthday because um, my birthday was just before Christmas and um, what else is there a makeup haul I'm just looking around to see like what stuff I'm gonna be talking about Um yeah there's absolutely loads I've got like a haul of loads of prizes that I've won and giveaways recently I've got hauls from when I went to events Um like when I went to Glasgow at the beginning of December like, this is how far behind I am with videos I've got PR hauls for you coming like I've got absolutely all sorts we have so much to catch up on but today's video is going to be a haul from Boots. So I've picked up loads of goodies, like loads of goodies from Boots. Da 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 da! I'm so excited. So I'm not going to lie, you know that I always am 100% honest with you. I got sent a £100 Boots gift card from a PR company. And they also sent me over a canvas bag saying I must resist, I must resist, I must resist, I must resist. I bought it. <laughs> I and mean, then it also came with some chocolate coins to help me whilst I was shopping. But um, I'm trying to be good. So, ooh, let me just. That was actually Boots emailing me. How crazy is that? <laughs> um, Boots the latest office. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, I got sent a little sparkly clutch bag as well, which I'm totally going to use now for a night out. I feel like there's something inside it. Oh, just receipts. <laughs> oh, it's an Etsy scorn. So if you want, if you're interested in buying this bag, it's from Suki Sabu, Sabu. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but it's on Etsy and they're also on Not on the High Street as well. So yeah, ah, but yeah, I will definitely be using this to use for nights out because I hate having to take like my full purse out with me. And then the other thing that they also sent me is some body form pads, and these are brand new out, and they are the first ever black pad in the UK. So let's have a look and see what they look like. I've been dying to see what they're like, but I haven't opened them yet. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that many to be inside. How many? How many? 28. It reminds me of um, After Eight, you know, like where I have it in the little sachets. <laughs> let's, let's whack one of these bad boys out. So this is what it looks like, and it's designed to go with your knickers. Obviously if you wanna wear black knickers or black leggings, etc. That's what it's designed for. So this is the Daily Fresh Black Liner from Body Form, the UK's only black liner. Designed for the ultimate discretion when wearing black underwear. It combines a black soft, uh, la, la, uh, la. it combines a, oh my God, I actually can't speak because I'm just so excited to be filming. Um, so it combines a soft black top sheet with a unique curve fit shape for the foot for the perfect fit every time. The special shape which is wider at the top <laughs> and slimmer at the neck ensures each liner is flexible enough to mould to the curves of your body so that they stay securely in place. Each liner is breathable like cotton underwear for all day comfort and a long lasting, fre long -lasting freshness whatever you're doing. Okay, doc. So when I when I received these and when I found out that like, they were bringing out a black liner, my instant thought was I have been on so many nights out and you know when you want to go out with your friends, your period comes and you're like, oh, I've changed so many like, out outfits because of me like, being on and I feel like bloated and I feel frumpy and fat and just disgusting. So I'll wear like a, like a peplum top. It's normally always my red one that I wear. It's like a red peplum top and black leggings. And obviously I wear black knickers, but obviously my pads are white. So there's been so many times that I've like, I've like <laughs> bent over in front of my friend and asked like my friend, like, can you see my pad? Can you see it through my, my leggings? Or I've like 
because I like to be serious if I'm going a night out I'm going to slut drop so I like slut drop in front of my friends to see whether it's going to show up had or not and I don't want to have that kind of, of fear my only um concern with this is I wouldn't be able to wear it when I'm heavy or I'd have to just change it quite a few times whilst I'm out just because it is obviously more of a like this is like the normal one so I'm, I wonder if they do let's we have a look on the website I wonder if they do or if they will plan on doing like a more thicker version like for when like you've just came on kind of thing although it does have so do you know how like it has the thing to let you know like how how heavy you are and how strong this is kind of thing this is like two out of three so i know it says it's normal but it has got quite a lot of padding to it so i feel like it would soak up quite a lot is this too much information for you oh well girl you're gonna have to just get over it <laughs> So on the website they only have this version but I think what will happen is this will become very popular with it being black and no other brands doing it. That I feel like they probably will end up bringing out one that will have wings and it will be black. So there's a little hint and hint if you're watching this body form. <laughs> so yeah I also got some of them. They were £1 when I got these. They actually sent me this one. Oh is there a cool way of opening it and I've opened it in a rubbish way. I think there is as well. Oh, there is. You open it like this. Well, I preferred it when it looked like after eight, so. But you could just be like. <laughs> I like it. Mm. I actually, I don't know if this is too much information for you, but you know, I'm holding pads in a YouTube video, so I mean, how much, how much more TMI can it get? I'm gonna need them in like three days' time, so. <laughs> And probably this chocolate as well. <laughs> Even if I am being good, you can't resist when it's like that time of the month. Okay, doke. So, I went over my £100 because it's me. <laughs> so, this is everything that I got from Boots. So, the next item is something that I literally bought because Nicola like, made me smell it um, from work. And it smells unbelievable. So, I got the Kenzo World perfume and this is the gift set so this is obviously in the fifth no it wasn't 50 percent off it was like i don't know how much it was off should we have a look so the perfume is meant to be 63 pound so i saved 21 pound and one p because obviously it's the boot sale so that was 41 pound 99 the day that i'm filming this video is friday the 19th and you'll be seeing this video on sunday so the boot 70% off sale is now on in store. I've had a look online and I can't see it online. So I don't know if they'll come on, I don't know, like tonight or tomorrow. But the boot 70% off sale is now in store. So if there's any of these in your store, I'd go check it out because it might have possibly gone down even further. So this is what the perfume looks like. And you get a little clutch bag behind it as well. The other thing that I like desperately, like desperately wanted to get, and it might also be in the sale as well if you can get it in my store. If you live in the Middlesbrough area, Teesside Park had loads of these, so they might have gone even further down in the sale as well. Just a little heads up for you. <laughs> and this is the Glam Glow Christmas set. So this one, once again, was an absolute bargain. Although it still, it wasn't like half price. It was meant to be £42. I saved £14 and a penny and I got it for £27.99p. I've not actually opened it yet, to be honest. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. So you get the full size Glam Glow. There's two different sets, so make sure you pick up the right one that you want. One of them had like, didn't have a full size one. It had like more bigger versions of like, them of like the little ones I've just showed you but not like full size like this so this is the full size glam glow super mud clearing treatment which looks like this and this is so expensive to buy by itself oh it's got the seal on it anyway but I absolutely love this it's one of the best masks that I've ever tried so each of these individual ones would cost you £15 if you bought them separately and this set itself was £28, just short of £28. So it's such a good bargain considering you get the full size one as well. So we get a mini of the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliant Treatment, which I've never tried. The Gravity Mud Firming Treatment, which I haven't tried. And also the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment as well, which I haven't tried. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that. And um, I will let you know my thoughts on them. But I know that I, I love that full size one. The other item that I got 
is this bad boy. So this is from Misguided. It comes with this little bag like this and I probably will put that bag into a giveaway and put some goodies in it for you. Um, so I thought I could do like a video and do first impressions trying them, these products. So we have two liquid lipsticks which look like this. We have, oh, that is a nice colour. That is really pretty. And then we have a darker one but they don't have names. Okay so the darker one is I think it's one that you're going to have to build up because it's quite see-through. But that lighter one, oh, that is stunning. And then you also get a lip liner in it as well, which looks like a very nice, oh yeah, a very nice nude colour. It would actually go really, really well with that liquid lipstick, although it is a little bit lighter. And I kind of like to put a darker lip liner on, like how I've done it today. And then you also get an eyeshadow quad in it as well. This is Caught You Looking Eyeshadow Quad, which just looks like this. Oh my god, that is so smooth. Like, so smooth. It's not even coming up on camera, but that is stunning. I am really, really impressed. Okay, that one's not very good. <laughs> that one's pretty. Let's try the last one, which looks like it'd be really good for green eyes. Okay. It's nice, but it's not like... P. Louise eyeshadow palette, Shh, I'm shit. <laughs> which is what, actually what I've got on my eyes at the moment is from the P. Louise eyeshadow palette. By the way that misguided set was supposed to be £16 and I got it for £8. <laughs> I had to like think of the maths for it then. Okay so let's move on to the smaller things that I bought. So I was going to get this big Estee Lauder set and it had like eyeshadows and um, blushes, some lipsticks in it. Um, and when I saw it in person, it was just really underwhelming. But I spoke to the... I had, like, amazing customer service when I was in Boots. So, major props to Laura, who worked on the Estee Lauder counter. Um, I love people that actually take an interest in you. So, we had, me and her, like, had, like, a really good talk. We were talking about YouTubers and stuff like that. And she was just such amazing customer service. And that was at Teesside Park in Middlesbrough. So I made a props to you, Laura, for, for serving me and just being so lovely. And I love when people work on a makeup counter, um, show you a product and then respect the fact that you don't want to buy that. Because I feel like so many people push you as if to say, like, I've, I've spent this time, I've opened it out of the box and I've showed you it and you're not buying it kind of thing. She wasn't like that at all. She was so understanding. So thank you so much, Laura, for amazing customer service and for your friend that worked in Clinique as well, whose name I can't remember. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so these are the products that I picked up. Um, but I got these ones from my boots in town because I just couldn't decide what I wanted whilst I was in... Um, Teaside Park and Teaside Park don't have a NYX counter which confuses me because it's a lot bigger but anyways speaking of NYX that's what we'll start with first I picked up the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and I got this in the shade Black Noir um, so basically I picked this up because of P. Louise P. Louise uses this with every single client whether they're blonde like me or whether they're dark whatever she always uses black so I was, she always says get the black one because the medium like isn't dark enough kind of thing. So I've actually got it on today with my Freedom Brow Pomade and I just absolutely, like absolutely love it. So yeah, picked up that. I also picked up some things from L'Oreal and these were on three for two and I didn't realise that. So I picked up two things and the lady in the counter who served me, who was absolutely lovely as well, but she didn't tell me her name. Um, but the lady who served me in the boots at Middlesbrough Town Centre um, told me that it was three for two. So I went and picked up another thing. So the first thing that I got is because so many people raved about it. So many YouTubers, like Softer's Nails and everybody was like, it's amazing, such a good mascara. So I picked up the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Ecstatic. 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 Okay. Um, this is intense volume for spectacular long lashes and a pleasure to apply apparently. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to to try this. The packaging is stunning. It is so pretty. And this is what it looks like. Oh, look at all that stuck on 
the end of the brush. <laughs> Let's just dab that off the side. And then this is what the the brush looks like. It looks really, really good. Haven't tried it yet because I wanted to wait to film this video. So I need to try it because I've literally just run out of roller lash. So that'll be my next one that I'm going to try. So the other product that I got to try out is their brow gel pomade. Once again, beautiful packaging. Packaging is very, very similar, aka basically the same as the Benefits one. But obviously it'd be like a different size because the Benefit one is not this big. <laughs> and so yeah, it has a brush that comes out of the end, but I probably won't ever really use that. I like my Morphe brush. And then I got the shade Ebony. And the reason that I got this is because, where's mine? Let's have a look. It's because, I know I have blonde hair, but my eyebrows are very cool tone. So the Freedom Brow Pomade that I use at the moment is in the shade Ash Brown. And look how dark that looks. Like, it looks so dark. You wouldn't ever think that I have something this dark on my eyebrows. But that's the right colour for me. So, because it's so cool tone. I mean, this one, I'm not going to lie, looks a lot warmer. Let's try some on my finger. My hand. So this is the Freedom one. And then clean finger, go on with the other one. Ooh, it's a lot smoother and creamier than the um, Freedom one. Oh my God. They look basically, the, I mean, I'm not even joking. Like they literally look like the same shade. And like I use two different fingers as well. Oh wow, I'm really excited to try it because it is super creamy. And as you can see, I do love my Freedom one. It's like starting to get a little hole at the bottom. So yeah, I picked up that as well. And then to make up the three for two, I picked up one of the matte lip paints from L'Oreal as well. And because I had like, the shop was closing, it was like maybe eight minutes to, because I'd gone after work. I like literally had to just like quickly pick a colour. So I got the Babe In 211 liquid lipstick. So I don't even know what this looks like, if it looks pretty. I've not even swatched it. It does look really nice actually. I have to dip that in again though. Okay. I mean, do we have to shake it first? Why is it gone all runny? Should I shake it? Let's shake it. Mm, that's a bit better. It is very, very, th like a very thin formula. Don't know how I feel about the packaging of it. How I feel this might be a bit hard to apply because even just spreading it out on my hand, it's very gappy. Like, You'll spread it and then it'll kind of take it away from one area and put it in another area so it's not even throughout. But that is a really nice colour. It probably would have gone really nice with this makeup look to be honest. So yeah, that was the other thing that I picked up. And like I said, I did go over the £100 because there was just things that I wanted to pick up. So I've got two things left. The first one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade 10 Ivy. And I am, honestly, I'm not even kidding you, I'm so excited to try this. And the, like literally the main reason that I got this is because Nick Tutorials did a video absolutely raving about it. And she compared it, did like one half compared to the Huda Beauty foundation and she said that it's near enough the same thing. So yeah, I picked up the shade 10 Ivy, so let's see what... Like I said, I was like proper rushing, <laughs> trying to to pick the right colour because the shop was about to close. Okay, that looks like a really good colour. Okay, the camera's not even picking it up. There we go. <laughs> um, bear in mind that my foundation that I've gotten today is too dark for me. So this looks like a good shade. So let me know if you want me to do a video testing it out, doing a first impression, foundation Friday, anything like that, please do let me know. And then last but not least, the last product that I have is from Boots. This is their Sleep Ease Pillow Mist in Lavender. And I literally got this because I have been suffering with my mental health for the past. I mean, honestly, it's been more than a month, like more than the six weeks that I've been off YouTube, but before I was just kind of struggling, just getting by. Um, and that kind of made me mentally more drained and like, physically more drained as well. So yeah, I think I've been suffering for or struggling, should I say, for maybe two, three months now. Because it kind of, 
it was like a bit before I started my job and kind of heightened throughout my job as well. So it's kind of been, yeah, three months really. Um, and it kind of hit me hard in December when December came around, especially with me being off, like I was off work poorly as well. So I got the Sleep Ease Pillow Mist and Lavender because it's meant to help like aid relaxation before sleep. And if you know me, you know that I'm so bad with my sleep. I'm so bad for going to bed. I'm so bad for actually being able to fall asleep when I'm in bed, for getting up early. And I've been doing like boot camps on a morning. So I did it yesterday morning so I did boot camp yesterday morning um and the morning before so I'm getting up at like half five in the morning going to boot camp for quarter to seven in the morning leaving the house at like six quarter past six to get to boot camp for quarter to seven then I'm going to work nine till five coming back from work um and sometimes I'm not going to bed till like half one or 12 or even half 11 is way too late when I'm getting up at half five so I'm hoping this is going to help me some in some way <laughs> So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Kaylee for sending me over the Boots vouchers and Body Farm's new pad for me to try as well. I'm so excited. It sounds really weird but I actually am so excited to try the pad. Especially when, like I said, when it comes to nights out and stuff it's going to be an absolute godsend. But yeah, thank you so much. I can't wait to try all of these products and hopefully get a better night's sleep as well. And yeah, I will be doing a video all about my mental health and about my mum's... Um, I was finding out that my mum has a cyst in her brain and stuff like that. It'll all be coming soon. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm really sorry that it took me so long to, to upload a new video. But hopefully I'm back. I'm not going to say 100% because I don't want to put that pressure on myself. But I'm hoping that I'm back and I'm going to have time to film and upload and sort my youtube game out <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you in my next video don't forget to hit subscribe i upload wednesdays fridays and sundays when i'm being mentally in a good place <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you in my next video bye guys